What is going on, y'all? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys with another reaction video. This is going to be a different one, and I feel like I say that during all of these reaction videos, but it's because I'm really trying to get diversity and trying to go down every different uh, musical path and a source of inspiration for me personally and hopefully for you as well. So thank you so much for joining us on this journey. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, give us a thumbs up, comment, do all that kind of good stuff. It supports uh, not only this channel, but our original music, Chasing Anthems, because that's that's the, really the reason why we're doing this reaction channel is to check out other artists, get inspiration, and help grow our own music as well. If you hit the channel icon, you can uh, go to our page and you can check out our original music. We greatly appreciate it. Also, big news right here. You can see this is the title of our upcoming single, Over It. It is going to drop January 14th, so you're going to want to make sure that you're a subscriber on this channel so you can be notified when that video and lyrical video and reaction video and all that kind of good stuff goes live. We're getting so close to 1,000 subs, and we greatly appreciate every single one of you guys for joining us down the journey. With that being said, today we're going to be checking out Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Israel. And I'm not going to even attempt the last name. I apologize because I don't want to uh, to mispronounce it. But with that being said, this song is so near and dear to my heart for so many reasons. Um, it just feels like it's attached to good memories, bad memories, um, but just holds a really special place in my heart. So let's get into this video. Uh, somewhere over the rainbow. This song is such a great representation that all of the tricks and the thrills and the effects and the production that we put into music um, isn't always necessary. And I know when we're producing music, and uh, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, how what else can I add to it? What else can I enhance this to make it an even better song? When you have good lyrics and you're speaking from the heart, and it's something so simple and so universal that we can all connect to, all of that other stuff doesn't matter. And this is what a great representation of that. Um, just a guy singing from his heart and his soul with a, a ukulele. Um, what do they say? What do they say? Uh, three chords and the truth is all you need. Um but it's that simple, right? We, we like to add and we like to make it more complicated, but it's that simple. I'm curious, does anyone know in the comments, uh, let me know, what island in Hawaii are we looking at? Uh, I've been to Kauai, I've been to uh, the big island, and I've landed on the others um, just passing through. But uh, this feels like Kauai, but... Hey, I don't know. I haven't spent much time there, unfortunately. And Chasing Anthems would love to do a tour. So if anyone's watching this from Hawaii, we uh, have been 
planning and talking about it for quite some time, doing like a coffee shop acoustic tour. If you have a coffee shop, if you have a place over there you want us to come jam, hit me up in the comments and uh, let's make this happen. 2022, baby. Do you wish upon a star? Wake up where the clouds are far behind. Be where trouble melts like lemon drops. High above the chimney top. Okay. The volcanoes are making me think maybe it's not quite. Maybe we, maybe it's the big island. But once again, I, I don't know. I am... Uh, I probably could do some quick research, but uh, I like to hear from you guys to let me know uh, what island, or maybe it's multiple islands we're looking at. I don't know. Well, you find me oh, somewhere over the rainbow. Bluebirds fly and the dream that you did to in here is uh his funeral service because I, I believe he passed away in 1997 and i think that's what makes this song so sentimental at least for me personally is that i've heard this song played at a lot of other services um of people that were really close to me and um it gets attached to that even though it's a very happy uh uplifting song it, it has this sense of uh loss as well and that things will be better um so it kind of makes it that bittersweet. But I think most good songs have that element in it when you think about it. It's either a, a love song and a breakup or something that uh, ties to your emotions. Um, and this, obviously, the hits that to the T. Uh, you can definitely tell he was well-respected and a musician and a uh, singer and, and extremely talented. Uh, personally, I actually really enjoy the Louis Armstrong one version as well. And I think Louis may have been the original songwriter, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm curious. If you know who originally wrote Somewhere Over the Rainbow, uh, please let me know. But the Louis Armstrong, for some reason, reminds me of my grandpa. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I've had very little interactions with him, but for some reason, I don't know that is that version of it's connected to um, those distant memories. Uh, and this version reminds me of, you know, several funerals that I've been to in the more near future. Um, so it's it's interesting, but it's also it's so amazing at the same time. I love it. Uh -huh. track what an amazing rendition of what was already an amazing song uh hands down it's another one of those situations where you have an artist that's life is just cut too soon what else would he have done i don't know um but we can still enjoy and cherish the music that was left behind um I really like the visual effects too with this this video because they took obviously a lot of still images and they um, with the illusion of you know panning and and zooming and doing all this kind of stuff uh, made it come to life, which is really cool. Which makes me think there probably isn't a lot of original video uh, footage of uh, Israel. Um, but if there are other videos that I should check out and that you recommend, so I could uh, learn more about uh, his musical career and. 
um, inspirations and good stuff like that. Please let me know in the comments below. With that being said, thank you so much for joining us on this journey today. Uh, it was an emotional journey. It was a uh, with highs and lows and bittersweet, but still amazing at the same time. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like I said, please like, subscribe, comment, do all that kind of good stuff, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.